Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful rhinestone bottle. Hope you enjoy. Here are all the supplies I use. They'll be listed below in the description box. So the first thing that you want to do is cut down your rhinestone sheet so that it will fit around the bottom of your bottle. We're going to do two strips at the bottom and then we're going to make smaller strips for the top. And what I'm doing is lining up the rhinestone sheet with the seam of the bottom so that I have a point of reference. Then you're going to move away the backing and make sure that the sheet is smoothly pressed against the bottle. Make sure there are no humps, lumps, or bubbles. And I didn't cut it to the exact length, so I'm just cutting off the excess here. And you see that left a little gap. So what I'm gonna do is peel it up, and this is stretchable. So I'm just going to peel it up a little bit and stretch it over so that it closes that little gap. And now we're going to repeat the same steps with the second strip. And we're again laying it against the seam of the bottle. And this time you just want to make sure that the bottom of this strip is touching the top of the first one. We don't want any gaps or spaces. I found the best way was to work from the top of the bottle down at this point um, to prevent bubbles and bumps. Working in small strips and then lightly stretching the strips so that they are touching you don't want to stretch it too much because it will retract back. And again, we're still keeping everything at that back seam because we are going to cover that up in the end. And there's still a small piece hanging there, so I'm just gonna use my X-Acto knife and cut it off. Thank you. 
And even though the back looks a bit messy, the front is smooth and seamless. So we're still going to start at that same seam, but this time what I'm going to do is press the beginning part of it down at the seam so the seam starts straight. And then as I peel the backing back, I'm going to start to stretch it so that it's curving up to touch the bottom of the last strip that we did. And again, you just want to gently stretch it to the curvature of the bottom. So that left us with some small gaps and we're just going to cut a few small pieces and fill that in. And what I do is I cut the piece a little bit bigger than the space because since this is stretchy, it stretches both to expand and contract. So I'm gonna stuff it in that little space so that there is no gap left behind whatsoever. So I'm adding two rows to the smaller spot, and then I'm gonna add three rows to the bigger space. I'm using my nail to push it in place so it's not laying on top of what's already there. It looks like it belongs and it's laying just as flat.
So our gap is filled in and the front still looks seamless. There's a little gap right there, but we're gonna cover that up with the brooch. Now we're gonna cover the top of the bottle and I'm just gonna use a couple of small strips. Still keeping our seam on the back of the bottle. And because of the top of the bottle is curving more up here, you just wanna make sure that you press each section down firmly so that there are no gaps on the bottle. Next, we're gonna cover up that back seam. I'm gonna use some of this Gorilla Glue. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it in my syringe. And I wanna use this to enforce the adhesive since I'm sticking this on top of rhinestones. I wanna make sure that it's secure. And you don't wanna to put too much that is seeping through, but just enough. Now it's time to add our brooch. You can place it wherever you like. I'm gonna try to place it to hide that small gap. And if your brooch has the clip on the back, just use some pliers and it comes right off. I'm looking now to see which parts of the brooch are actually touching the bottle so that I know where to put my glue. I'm adding the clear 
Gorilla Glue. And also I have a Gorilla Hot Glue Stick in my hot glue gun as well. And you wanna give that about an hour to dry. And here is the finished product. Let me know what you think. Like, comment below, and hit that subscribe button.